times and then there's a yeah, red okay, dot. Okay, then, then it's recording. Now you're recording. Okay, gotcha. We can cut the sound out too, so. Now try to come down the long side now. See if when you push your right hand forward and your right leg a little forward. Yeah, good job. Excellent. Yeah, and then pick up a little right lead canter on this circle. Just so really loosen up, you know. Really let go today. Good, push your right hand a little ahead. There you go, good job. It's hard to do that sometimes, isn't it? Just to like let your arm go ahead and not pull. Very good. And if you need to turn him, remember just to open your right arm a little bit out to the side, but don't pull directly back. Good, relax your right arm. Good. Excellent. And then see if you can draw just by petting him. Now, if you had to use a lot of pressure, like backwards to get them to trot, sometimes when they haven't been worked consistently day after day, this is fun to start with because they're so revved up to go, aren't they? Yeah. And so when you ride the downward transition, so it comes more from your feet and not so much from the pressure in the bridle or on the rope halter, you'll canter again. And then when your left leg comes forward and you're not asking him to canter, he's going to probably just want to keep going, you know. And the temptation will be to pull this way or to shorten and draw his head to the right, but you won't. You'll just tip his head a little to the right so he keeps turning, okay. but you'll wait for him to trot on his own. And that's what's hard for him, what makes him, you know, difficult to collect right away and put on the bit, isn't it? Because he's so willing to go forward that sometimes there's a little too much energy. So trot off when you're ready and then you'll pick up your canter but you'll think about your right hand. If it's coming this way at all towards your hip today, you just give that up a little bit. Very good. Your diameter of your circle is what's going to help you control the speed. Very good. Good. Bring your right arm out. Yeah, that's better. Feel how it wanted to go back towards your hip? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. And now try it in the trot where you just bend him out to the side and then you relax. And then you bend him out to the side and then you relax. He keeps just tipping his head just like in the groundwork so he can't pull and lean against your rope. Good. And now pat him on the neck and see if he'll walk without pulling back. Oh, very good. That's what we want to be a little in the canter today. Okay. When you go canter to trot, you may want to go 15 laps. If he does, you'll just let it. He needs to get a little of that juice out. He's been taking many naps in the round bale. <laughs> <laughs> so he's all geared up. <laughs> when you're ready. Don't pull back. Yeah, think about punching your right hand a little ahead. Good job. Excellent. Ooh, it's like a tuba. <laughs> and now just pet him with your left hand, but don't pull back. Good job, Very nice. Good boy. And just make a little change through the circle. That's all right. 
sometimes it's a little floppy, but there's four walls, luckily, so. Yeah, yeah now actually walk and ride that same figure. But just as you get to the center line, you'll have to toss your rope out. Okay. So you just, yeah, bring it through and then do a little pitch out and over. Good job. And in that turn, it's good to practice that um, change through the circle in the walk a few times just to get used to tossing your rope out, not hitting horse in the head, you know. And then when that's working good, you can trot through that figure and toss it out without hitting your horse, you know. With the and I usually hold the tassel in one hand and then pitch it out so that way the tassel doesn't whack them, you know. Okay, so ride another um, canner when you're ready. You can do it right on the walk, too, if you want. Ooh, they're all canners. Jeez, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tubas. walk when you're ready and then make a change of direction see if you can practice a smooth change where you just toss that out over his ears that's good excellent job and then you can just bring your right leg back and turn to the right there 